welcome to another video. On this video I will show you how I done the rework on this board. It was five or six years ago. And this is a, a red board uh, with the name European one but have nothing to do with this European clone. Actually this one was a shitty clone. Uh, it was necessary to change all of the components from here and I changed all of them to make this um, piece of shit to work and uh, now I will show you also uh, which component is necessary to rework on this uh, board but at this moment uh, because uh, I searched few minutes ago on the internet the NXP it is not available anymore and also if you want to replace this one to put new uh, dump inside it, it is not available actually this component is not available they didn't produce anymore from 2017 I believe this component and if you have problem with the NXP you should buy another shitty clone and use the NXP okay but all another components you can still find uh, not all of them at this moment they are uh, they have problem with the chip delivery but around 80% from this component you will you will find it and for another one the waiting time is uh, a little bit longer it's around uh, one month one and a half month to be delivered okay i believe uh, will be much easier and much better if I will move to the desktop I take already a picture with my board and I will make a graphic uh, and I will show you which component you should change step by step okay if you want to make this uh, clone to work at least 60-70% because when the sellers sell these things the Chinese sellers uh, they sell most of the time very bad clones i mean <clears throat> here should have uh, filters but they will come with capacitors and also these components from here transistor and of them they are very bad quality the capacitor they, they come also with very very bad quality the card have problem but i do have a video and uh, you will see there how you can uh, replace this um, image and make this board to work you cannot do this board to work 100 percent of course also the the price is very low but uh, this video therefore uh, those subscribers who tell me all the time please show me how do you make the reward because i don't have uh, enough money to buy original one i will do it for myself it's diy and it's only for these people you know if you use this one to make money to have a business of course all the time buy original one not because you have the support, it is because you will work 100% and this is a great tool and it is really uh, one of the best on the market, okay, if you buy the, the original one, okay, and as I said from here, we will jump to desktop because it will be much easier for you to understand which components you should uh, change because if I would try to show you now here, look, there are all these transistors, they are similar, you know, and also these uh, chips and everything you will uh, you'll forget uh, and I will try to make a graphic okay to be much easier for you and also for me because maybe I will lose more time now to explain you on this graphic but after that it will be better because I don't have so many questions and you will understand from the beginning what you should change and which components uh, you should change okay then we jump now to, to the desktop and I take a picture of my board I hope the quality is good you can see without have a problem what I will explain to you uh, here we have these uh, holes you should solder all of them on this line and also here where the um, USB is and after that when you fill these holes you move to the first step first step uh, are these filters I mind this one uh, I didn't put uh, I forget to put here the, the name of this uh, component but we'll go on the list and you'll see this is 4.7 uh, nanofarads and here we have the list 
and as I said filters filters they are over here this is the number okay well, in my case I take I take it from this company it's good quality it's up to you from which company you will decide to order the components the next one are these um, capacitors you noticed we have two uh, small capacitor one uh, microfarad on 35 volts if you don't find on 35 you can take also 25 or it's um, but 35 should be or higher than 35 okay over here we have two big capacitors they are on 10 volts if you don't have find on 10 volts you can easily order on uh, 16 volts or I don't know uh, higher but uh, this is the lowest uh, value okay 10 volts and we still have here eight capacitors on 10 microfarads most important is the voltage uh, you should take on 16 volts but in my case I find this one um, much cheaper and this is the reason why I put it on 20 volts because it's not a big deal uh, the reason is it was half price from uh, another one then I prefer to buy 8 capacitors for 20 volts than to buy 4 capacitors with 16 volts okay as I said it's up to you but minimum sh uh, should be 16 volts uh, this one it's also up to you if you want to change it this one it's only a buzzer it's, you can leave it also the, the Chinese version who come on the board it is not uh, necessary to change this one uh, from here the job will become very serious you should replace all of these uh, transistors you'll notice they are NPN okay and we have five transistors we have this line and the second one here okay one it comes from number one three from transistor number three and five from the transistor number five and the last one is the uh, sixth okay we have in the total six transistor and on the second line here we have five and also it's one from one and four from four okay I hope you understand and here is the order number don't request a list please if you uh, want to do this work you can make a screenshot and follow this uh, video okay I don't have time to send uh, the list and all of these things I try to help you how much is possible another one this is like before number two four six and three uh, but what I noticed here let's go back let's go back NPN it was my mistake this one is PNP because you have one a uh, NPN and one another should be PMP and so far okay then this one is PNP but this number it's uh, is correct and you'll find the information over there let's go a little bit on 2113 okay let's go on the list yes as I said PMP it cannot be only PMP because another ones there NPN and you have here information and also if you need data sheet okay let's go back to our job here we have uh, three transistors the number is over here one is here you have two of them is this one on the top okay you should replace and after that you have a small resistor and number two and number five only one on the board the 
This one is also very important because it's a voltage regulator. You have the uh, input voltage from 1.5 to 15 volts and he will make the output to 3.3 volts if you noticed here 3.3 okay and this is very important because it's also it's a stable current to 800 milliamps okay and this transistor I believe now uh, it is a little bit hard to find it but it's very important and you should change it if you don't find it I believe also the Chinese one he will do his job but I suggest you to change also this one as I said at this moment I don't believe it's uh, it's available at least on this uh, website and the next components are these uh, short key diodes replace all of them I put the numbers over here and it will be very easy to identify the place this fourth one they are TVS diodes they will protect our uh, components okay from the board it is not like 100% you must change this one but will be a good idea to change with good uh, quality this one is up to you I, I changed it and it's as I said this one is not 100% necessary to change on this board this voltage regulator as you can notice it's uh, 1 amp okay then you'll have the voltage from uh, input voltage 4 to 14 volts okay and he will make a uh, output to 5 volts in 1 amp this is really uh, very important and you should change it good brand or good quality okay uh, this one it's uh, one of the most expensive uh, pieces on this board it's as I said it's up to you if you'll change or not this inductor it's also uh, necessary to change it's not expensive I believe it's around 4 euro change uh, in my case I take uh, this one from Coilcraft in my opinion it's one of the best company who produce these inductors but if you don't find from this company you can take also from uh, what is uh, available on the website and this one is the less necessary chip what what should be changed on this board it's a it's a must okay and the last one will be this capacitor okay is this electrolytic capacitor it's on 15 volts 220 microfarads uh, in my case I believe this one uh, it was from Panasonic but on most of the cases this one come on a good condition I measure many of them and all of them they are okay but as I said if you do a full rework I don't know this one should be around 2 or 3 euro then it's not a big deal and yeah I hope the, this uh, information here will help you to make this rework on CAS it will come also next video when I do the rework on uh, Kitag and before to close this video I want to mention you and I don't uh, send you image anymore it was almost one year I've been sending these um, images to make this rework and make your uh, clones to work but one of the reason why I don't send it anymore at least at the moment I want to find a solution how I will do in the future it is because two subscribers one of them he sell this uh, image he tried to sell this image on the car forums it's a very known car forum and the second one 
he tries also to make money selling uh, this uh, image in another place and I must find a solution for those subscribers who really want to make this reward for themselves not to make business or such of things you know to make profit it is not fair you know if I don't request nothing from you and I help you for free and I lose my time sending over six seven hundred uh, mails with the um, link where you can download this it is not really fair okay and as I said I want to grow up this channel to make uh, this community bigger and this was the reason why I'm sending you this for free I didn't request from you uh, donation to help me to buy I don't know chips or products to make these things uh, forward you know to make these reworks no I said I will do it for free but when somebody make profit on my work it is not fair and I don't know which solution I will find but give me a little bit time and I will uh, I will find a solution for those who really like to have this uh, clone for them not to make profit and again uh, for those subscribers who really respect my job and they will subscribe to the channel because most of the time I will tell you honest at least 60% from the people who request help they didn't subscribe to this channel and most of them they didn't look for the video from the begin to the end because I have many explanation over there how you should do the rework and all of this stuff and there are hundreds of mails where they ask me what I will um, explain you in the video and I don't have time for that and this is also the reason why I send you too late the answer from many people who really need help so they know and be patient I will answer to all of you okay uh, but yeah I will do this in the separate video I will must to find a solution okay that's it for this video the next one will be rework on uh, Kitag and we'll still have a lot of these shitty clones and I will help you to repair all of them, okay? Uh, thank you for watching and see us in the next video. Bye bye.